Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cold Forged. So, last episode, we took on uh, a Lance of Max and Atlas, a rifleman, a pair of Vindicators, picked up an Atlas part, and a couple more rifleman parts, which is excellent. We also got six pieces of a Vindicator, which is awesome. So, we're on our way to getting some heavier mechs, which we really, 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 really need. Um, we do have a Light Lance coming up here. As you can see, they're in repairs. If you haven't uh, tuned in the past little while, we've got enough mechs here now to uh, put a second Lance together. This Lance, I can't wait. We're going to run this Lance next episode for sure, regardless of what happens. But today, what I want to do is I want to go down and pull off another mission with our um, regular Lance, our first Lance. Uh, and get enough cash so if we need to go back like past two financial reports we'll be able to do that so we're going to take a mission right now let's go to contracts uh between episodes i sold a few things i sold one of our fu fusion engines that we had kicking around just so we have enough cash in case we get crippled or whatever on this mission that we don't uh, lose our financial statement plus i had to advance a couple of days because i had to repair the medium laser on our phoenix hawk which is why we're one day now rather than three days to our financial report so, um, actually, before we, yeah, let, let's, let's go to our contracts here. Let's just get this mission done, and we can talk about stuff after that. So, let's go to a cease and desist here. Now, this is a good payout, and it's a destroy base, so we should be okay with this one. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Holovid's a defend base. I don't want to really do that. That's usually generally a little harder than the cease and desist. So, we're going to pull this mission off, and we're going to go 2 of 10 salvage, I think. Oh, well, what is this? 238,000. So this is this is okay. We're going to go 3 or 13. This is a good payout, I think. And we'll deploy our standard lance and get this done. Alright, here we go. Four mechs on the ground. Move forward, destroy the base. Relatively simple, I think. I don't think I've actually done a base destruction on this map before, have I? I have it's been quite a long time so it looks like a lance of mechs in the middle here there might be an opportunity for reinforcements on this side so let's pull out the main lance first um, and try and get out of range of turrets actually you know what I think I have done mission on this map before um, so let's reserve back I'm going right back to the assault phase you notice pylon here is in uh, decreased spirits um, he's been stealing medical supplies from our, um, from our med bay. Uh, I think he's been taking them because he's in kind of in shell shock, having to be up at the front lines all the time, being fired at by, like, atlases and riflemen continuously. So, um, I gave him a pass on that last time. Just sort of garnished his wages, because I can't, I have to set an example for everybody else, but, uh, I totally understand where he's at with this. So we're going to cut him major slack. Yeah. Hopefully, um, you know, we'll be able to get him a little hardier mech in time coming up here. Let's move on to this side here. Just in case they got some ranged turrets, I want to be on the side where they can't see me if I can get behind some hills here. And we'll do the same with this guy. Get up over here. So it just goes to show you that no matter how many chevrons of evasion you have, you can always get hit. Pylon almost lost his lost the uh, mech's arm in the last uh, battle. Oh, I won't say he... Oh, oh my god, there's an assault and a heavy. And a medium, I mean. Two mediums and assault. Uh, he almost lost the... Me uh, he didn't lose it. The Atlas and the Rifleman almost took his arm off in the last uh, battle. So we're going to reserve back. So they got another assault mech, huh? That's okay though. Gives us a chance to get some early assault mech parts, which is nice. Be nice to have at least one heavy or assault mech before we get to clan space, because we're definitely going to need it. Um, so we're going to have recoil move first. And I'm going to do a little bit of a flanking maneuver over here. Don't want to get in to see them yet. Like I said, I have no idea what that assault mech is. Okay, let's start this off here. So we're going to move Pylon in. He'll be able to move out again. We're going to be able to see who everybody is here. 
So there is a turret back there. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, of course, might as well be another atlas. Because why not? Grasshopper? Oh my god, we gotta kill this guy. He can't get close to us. And a pair of hunchbacks, huh? The MRM-40. And the disco back. Because of course it is. Um... This guy can move the fastest, so he's our first target. Now, does he have an... Oh, of course. Does he have an XL engine? That's the question. No, he does not. Exchangers, heat banks... So he's going to be able to last with a lot of heat. Um, okay. Can I see that guy from here? Man, I gotta move in. We'll be able to move out before these, the heavy and the assault move, but... Okay, let's move in and give him a pasting. Let's drop some missiles on this guy. Fire everything. Okay, nice. Head hit. And, of course, here comes their missiles. Don't worry, man. You can, you can raid the drug counter when you get back to the ship. <laughs> He's going to be dropping a load in his pants again. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. We need to get you up here, though. You got to be up there, dude. Uh, let's sprint into here. So we're going to fire on this guy. We're going to pull hit and run tactics, I think, for the first couple of turns here. I was hoping for another lucky head hit there, but no luck. Alright. Uh, recoil. Can you actually see anybody from where you are? No. So Hickory can. Um, why can't I get Hickory now? Okay. Sure. Uh, let's get you. Man. <sighs> We've got five chevrons of evasion. I'm going to reserve. I want to see what their two hunchbacks do here. Their two hunchbacks I want to get around behind. Because the Hunchbacks have, like, no back armor. They're easiest to kill from behind, obviously. Like, most mechs are, but they've only got, like, 20 points of armor. Look at that MRM. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say Pylon is pretty pretty damn shell-shocked. That's pretty much why. So, Hunch... Well, this guy's got a lot of armor. 45, 45, 56. But this guy is 15, 15, and 18. So, he's definitely an easy back kill. Let's go... Um, how aggressive do we want to be with these guys? AC-10 on the Atlas, I don't like. The Hammer Fist on these guys, I don't like. The Light PPCs, I'm kind of okay with. But the hammer fists are going to do a lot of damage if he gets in close range. So we got to move Pylon back for sure. So let's sprint it back. Um, let's sprint to here. Roger that. And we're going to fire 23 on this. 23%. It's pretty much going to be the same everywhere across the board. A little better on this guy. And this guy. Ah, really? I think the MRM guy's got to be hit first, so let's fire this guy. Target confirmed. Well, at least we got one hit. Comes Disco back. Well, he's firing at the right target. 
Yeah, a pylon has got to be shell shocked. So I'm gonna have to get a reserve pilot, I think, for the sake of role playing, and just keep pylon out for maybe for a couple of battles, because I, I, I can just totally see it in real life him being so shell shocked from this. Um, once again, yeah. I think we're out of range of their heavy max, so we're gonna reserve. I want to see what he does. If we can get in closer, we can get better shots on him. Oh, he's gonna jump. Okay. All right, that's good for us. Um, 35% there. It's the same really, no matter where I go. So I'm gonna move back here and back up Pylon. And I'm gonna fire everything on this guy. I know it's the lower chances to hit, but this guy is the guy that I'm the most afraid of, like I said. If he gets in close to us, it could spill doom for one mech in one, one turn. So we can't let that happen. So let's get you back. Where can we get some fire support from? Maybe back here. Let's do that. I know I was hoping to shoot the grasshopper, but he's still a little bit of ways ways away from us, so let's fire everything on this guy. Okay, and we're going to reserve. Because Recall is going to perform a hit, hit and run here. Okay, we got really lucky. We had three Charbons of Evasion. He missed with his big weapons. So we got really, really lucky. Recoil. That's uh, pretty good on this guy. We're going to move in. On my way. Going to fire everything at this guy. Firing full on enemy. Couple hits, not bad. They've got a lock on I see that. Damn. Didn't think they would go after him. Minimal damage on that kid. Yeah, it's still enough though, buddy. Yeah. Okay, you go first. I, do, you fool? I want you to target this guy again, fire everything. Okay, a few more hits that time. Prometheus Flame. Let's get you get you back to here. Beat the cake. Nice. Okay, Hickory. What do you need? Can we get eyes on that guy? We can. So let's get up here. And we're going to dump everything on this guy here. And fire. Copy that. We may be able to knock this guy down this turn. I'm really hoping we do. He's taking one pilot hit. So we're hoping for a knockdown. Yeah. Saw that coming. Not expecting a lot of damage on that side but enough. I wanted to absorb the first hit with the right side because now I have to switch to the left because the right side is where our missiles are. So we want to get Pylon next uh, and the reason why we want Pylon next is because we want to use our missiles from the Centurion to try and hit the Grasshopper if he goes down. So uh, let's get into here. Sorry buddy but you're gonna get shot at again. I'm really sorry for that. And let's fire everything on this guy and hope for a knockdown. Giving him everything I've got. Nice shooting, though. Exchanger destroyed. That hit something good. Pilot health, one of three. If we can knock him down with a Centurion, he's going to be out cold. This go back. You're loving that guy, and that's great because you're not going to be able to hit him most of the time. But he is so shell-shocked. My god. Okay, let's move in here. Get our stability back, and let's knock this guy in his ass and put him out of the game. So there's some good salvage there once he falls over. And this should put him out. Okay. 
So now our next mission, because this Atlas is dog slow, is we're going to pull these Hunchbacks back into Engage. I know the Hunchbacks are slow too, but we're going to pull back. We want to get away from these turrets. Minor damage. Yeah, here comes the missiles. We want to get away from this. Okay, so the disco back is in the center. I was hoping to kill that guy second. I was hoping he was going to be on their, well, our their left flank, our right side. But he's not, unfortunately. So, its next target is these this guy here. This guy we can kill in the back, which we're going to do. This guy, this guy we have to target next. So, recoil. Uh, we're going to save yeah. you, I think. We want to get Hickory moving first. Uh, can we get a clean shot on that hunchback? We can. So we're going to turn our turret this way, or turn our torso this way, sorry. We want to keep those missiles sheltered as best we can. Then we're going to fire everything on this guy. Technically that Atlas should be the next priority, but because they've got two hunchbacks on us right away and these guys have got heavy armaments, I don't want to um, be going after the Atlas and taking too long while these guys are shooting at us. So I think if we can pull down their... Oh, okay. If we can pull down these heavy guys, or the heavy weaponed guys. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, you're moving next, buddy. That was a solid hit. Now, did you get hit in the back? I think you did. Okay, it's kind of better that you got hit in the back, I think, overall. Uh, we don't have enough for Vigilance, unfortunately. Uh, but let's get you... Here. And we'll use whatever we can on this guy's back. Fire everything. Okay, a couple hits, not bad. It's a start. Okay, he's putting himself in a position to be shot in the back now. But right now we got this guy we, we want to shoot at, so we're going to do that. Okay, that guy's overheating. Not too worried about that right now. So let's get to a position. Ah, we're going to be so in the open here. I don't think I want to be down where they can see me with the missile launchers. So I'm going to go into here and fire everything into this guy's back. Fusion core took double crits. Unstable, unsteady. Sorry, I thought I was going to say unstable, but he's unsteady. Um, he's going to be seen by the missile launchers here, but I don't care at this point. I want to see if I can get capitalized on the quick kill. He's okay for evasion, so let's fire everything into this guy's backside and see what we get out of this. Oh, yes! There it is, folks. Then there was two. Okay. They made it easy, they made it easy for us. That wasn't anything I did. They just made that easy for us, that's all. And I'm all for them making it easy for us. Okay, so recoil. I want you to do this. Let's just try for a quick headshot. I just want, I'm pushing this guy back a turn. That's all I'm doing with recoil right now. Okay, good, we got the Prometheus Flame on him. So let's get you back here. Okay, so Hickory, what do you need? let's move into... How far can we go with you? We can't get behind these guys, unfortunately. Um, it's not bad here. So let's move as far as we can, I think. Yeah, five chevrons is pretty good. We're going to fire everything on this side of the hunchback. I know it's the wrong side. We really want to take the other side out. But that's between the Atlas <laughs> right now. The Atlas and the hunchback. So we definitely don't want to be doing that. Okay, let's do this. I'm offering the Centurion up as a target for the Atlas. Uh, keeping our left side to him because that's where not the best... Well, I mean, our LRMs are on that side, but the chance of him blowing through and destroying this torso is a lot smaller than 
wiping out our other side. So we're going to fire everything onto this guy's side. Good, great chances to hit, actually. Okay, and Pylon. So he's taking damage. Left torso is a little better, so we're going to move into here. Just like this. Get our stability back. And we'll fire everything into this guy's side. All weapons are go. Ah, missed with two, really. Okay, there goes the left torso. Think I hit something good. Not quite enough to make him unstable enough to fall, but we've a good, got a good chance to do that next turn. This go back. Good luck, buddy. He might shut down here. He's lost a lot of heat sinks. Nope. Not quite yet. Okay, got connected with the large laser this time. Not too bad overall. It's really that AC-10 I'm worried about, you know? Okay, recoil. Let's do your job again. Uh, can we target this guy from here? We cannot, because we're in the wrong direction. So... Let's sprint. Get into the trees. Double time. And we're going to do an offensive push on this guy. Let's pretty much nullify his ability to do anything. Nice shooting. Got two hits anyway. Okay, Hickory. Yep. Let's continue our movement up this way. I think once this hunchback goes down, that Atlas won't be able to see you. So I think just moving this far is fine. And we want better chances to hit anyway. So we're going to unload with everything. Okay, one medium laser hit. Okay, there's the instability that we wanted. Pylon, let's see if you can finish this up for us, buddy. Um, maybe you'll get a bit of confidence back after you do that. Let's pull back here. And we'll dump everything into this guy's side. Nice shooting, man. There you go. A little bit of payback. So, yeah, now we got to decide... This is going to move into here. And we're going to brace. Because he's going to move forward and attack. I want him to come to me rather than just moving one mech towards him. Yeah. So I'm basically positioning myself between me and... Or between my lightest mech and the Atlas. Just so he's got to shoot me, not the uh, light mech. Okay, so now let's... Let's give this guy a good pasting here. So we have to decide... I guess we're going to have to take this side first. So let's do that. Start off with everything here. Fire. Oh, not bad for instability. Hickory. What's our chance to hit? 56 back here, but I want, think I want to use the medium lasers as well. So... Still 56, medium lasers still have a chance to hit. So we'll move into here and we'll dump everything on this guy. It's nice to be on a cold planet and not have to worry about heat here. Okay, so I think... I don't think we're going to make this guy unsteady with pylon. So we're going to have to go with cold metal next. Uh, once again, I want to move into a position where I've got a good chance to hit and give him a target to shoot for. And we'll fire everything on him. Okay, there's some the instability that we were looking for. And now let's move Pylon over. And we're going to turn... What do we got here? Left side more so we want turned towards him. So we'll do that. And fire everything directly on him. Is that enough for a knockdown? Nope, passed everything. But we got a head hit, so that's good. He's only got two head hits left, or two... Uh, health left, so we might be able to knock his ass over. If we can blow up a torso and knock him down, that's going to be great. So let's see what kind of stability he's got left. He's got one bar now on him. Or does he? Yeah, he's got one bar on him, so that's good. So let's get Hickory moving as far as we can, I think, this way. 43%, that's pretty bad. 
I don't think it matters where we go here. What's this? Oh, that's a lot better. So we're going to move into here. Once again, looking for stability on this guy. Blast him with everything. The other thing, too, is if we can put him on the ground, right here. Um, then we can try for missile head hits. Fire everything. Oh, come on, buddy. You gotta do better than that. I think meleeing is a bad idea. Let's move into here. Alright. Okay, he's unstable. Let's see if we can put his butt on the ground here. Dumping everything straight into him. Okay, there he goes. Going down. So it's two pilot hits. All he can do now is pretty much stand up. Don't think he's going to hit anybody, but he might. You never know. He's going to back up. Don't blame me, dude. I don't even think that was enough to get any kind of uh, evasion going. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Well, that was kind of sucky. Can't max I can't maximize salvage that way. Um Ready for orders. Time for the turrets, I guess. So there's one. Commander. Okay. Full speed it is. So we know the yep. rear turret is a missile turret. So we want to try and get on that as fast as we can. Roger. So let's just get in. Don't know how strong these turrets are, but if they're going on the first phase... Somebody's got sensor lock there too, right? So, um, These guys are going to have a lot of health. Let's get in here. Let's get started on this. Two PPCs, 150 armor. Okay, not bad. Not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, almost took it down yourself. That's excellent. Okay, pylon. Let's see if we can get in to see another turret. Uh, we're only going to... Oh, wait. What? What? Oh, right here. Nice. See what we're up against here. Hardened Shredder, AC-10. Two LRM-15s. I'm thinking the AC-10 is probably going to be a little worse. Let's multi-target, shoot this guy, and this guy, and let's put two to A. Yeah, let's do it this way. Affirmative. Okay, so that's that one gone. Okay, 70 damage on that, that's nice. Hickory, I don't know. I don't think Hickory can finish this guy up. That's like 80. Well, if we hit with everything, we probably could. We got to be in close. So let's do this. Copy that. Yeah, we'll dump everything on this guy. Take this. No, nope, not gonna happen now. I can't. 63% chance, and you miss with all those, really? Wow. Okay, metal. Let's get in here. Not close enough, really, to hit these guys with much. Yeah, let's go here. Okay, let's just make sure we kill this turret. We'll fire everything. Don't want to leave anything to chance. That AC can do some damage against our lighter mechs, so... I don't like the LRM-15s either, but it's splash damage, so it's not so... Ooh, not so bad. I guess that turret couldn't see us. Okay, let's target this guy, fire everything. Let her rip. Nice. Okay, recall, let's finish it up. On the move. Do this. 
Nicely done. Let's start on these buildings now. Just gotta kill three. The other turret can't see us, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's move in, stay out of the trees. Gives us a better chance to hit if we're out of the trees. And this building is a medium with 150, a large with 200, and a large with 200. Let's start with this guy here in the center. Ooh, almost, almost enough. Really? You didn't see any damage on that building at all, huh? It's funny, because I saw an awful lot of damage on that building, considering it's on fire. Alright, fire everything. It's amazing, even with 90-some-odd 90, 90 percent chance to hit, I still miss some of the shots. Okay, Higgory, let's, um, you don't even need to move. Let's finish up, uh, this building. Okay, one down. My apologies to, uh, anybody that had family members in that building. But, you know, business is business. It's just business. I could do this all day. You could, could you? That's fantastic. Take that turret out next turn. Let's just make sure we get these buildings. Boom. Just gonna move up here. He can't see us, we can't see him, that's fine. Okay, let's reserve. Alright, let's move up. Let's give you first crack at it, Pylon. There we go. Standard turret. That small laser is like not hitting a goddamn thing, but that's fine. That's fine, we got plenty of missiles left. There it is, folks. Another beautiful two skull mission. There we go. Okay, 280,000, which is nice. So now we've got enough to get past two uh, financial statements. I probably took about 30, 25, 30,000 in damage here, I'm taking a guess at. So we got the Phoenix Hawk penetrated back here, but we didn't take any internal structure damage, um, which is great. And I don't think anybody else got crit either, so. We made out really well on this mission. Yeah, only chance for one Atlas part, unfortunately. Tons of Grasshopper parts there. We did a really good job on the Grasshopper and tons of Hunchback parts. I'm hoping we get some more Hunchback parts. But let's see what we can get here. Hammer Fists, nice. Look at these guys. I think I might... Uh, I'm going to drop one in for now. Endo Steel, we definitely need Endo Steel. This Fusion Core for cash, probably... Oh, nope. Uh, let's take out the fusion core. We got a heat bank here. Minus 30% death from above self damage. 30% actuator weight. Nah. Do we want the heat bank though? It's one ton, three slots, five heat per turn, overheat. We don't really have anybody that's running really hot right now. I'm thinking we'll probably get more value if we sell the fusion core and buy something in the store. Uh, I think that's probably the way I want to go. Keep one hammer fist. 25 times 3 damage plus 1 accuracy with the weapon plus 20 melee stability damage. This thing is insane. We want two of them though. I think we need the endo steel more than anything right now. So let's just go that route. All right, Atlas part, nice. <laughs> Two grass armor parts and a hunchback part. Light PPC, bunch of medium lasers, rocket launcher. Yeah, not bad at all. All right. The avian took Skeptana from Tortuga. Really? I just flipped out a couple of episodes ago and, oh. In Funky, <laughs> Funky Steve's Medina's, my other Rogue Tech campaign, we flipped that a little while ago, now it's flipped back. Oh, we'll have to go back and do some more work on that, I guess. All right, 44,000. A little more than I thought it was going to be. Not bad. Ready to go over All right, there's our finan first financial statement. And we'll say okay. 
Okay, so we got 476,000 left over, enough for another financial statement. So what we're gonna do, as I said before, we are going to make sure our light lance gets repaired first because we do wanna be using these guys next time. So we're gonna bring them up to get repaired before everybody else. There we go. So Firefly, Jenner, Phoenix, Hawk, and Centurion are last. Panther, Urbamax, Spider, Commando are first. Nice. So we should be able to get these guys in this month before the next financial statement and get a mission going with them. So that should be great. And it'll give our pods a little bit of time to gain some experience in the simulators, which will help raise their gunnery up a little bit before we start the fight there. Um, also, it's going to give us a chance to probably drop in that endo steel, and I'll have a look and maybe change the... the uh, configuration these mechs a little bit but the, when i come back for next episode uh i've gone past all this stuff and we'll be ready to fight just so we can get that lance up and running uh and fighting right away so we're going to jump planets two between episodes so the next time you see us we'll be on, we won't be on um uh, lucianka we'll be out on a different planet um which is fine and yeah so until next time if you haven't uh subscribed to my channel please feel free to subscribe and go check out my other series uh funky steve's medinas they're actually fighting over in the Tortuga Dominions right now against uh, the Devi against um, sorry the Federated Sons. Um, I've also got a uh, BattleTech um, Flashpoint series that's going on right now as well called the 900. You can check that on my channel. And yeah, so if you like the video, drop a like. And until next time, we'll see you all later.